Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see our third problem in our exercise 1.4. The problem is, in the following equations, find whether variables x, y, z represent rational or irrational numbers. Okay, so totally 6 problems are given and we have to state whatever it is x, y, z, u, w, t. Okay, these are rational or irrational. Okay, second problem now after many numbers is there. Numbers is there, rational or irrational or any of these are given. Then we solve this. So, if we put many variables x square, y square, all of these are rational or irrational. Then we add it to that. So, first problem x square is equal to seven. x square is equal to 7. Then what about x? Square root of 7. Okay. I told you. So x square is equal to 7. So to remove this square, we apply whole power 1 by 2 on both sides. Then this 2 and 2 will get cancelled. Then this is x is equal to square root of 7. So like this. Okay. So Square root of 7 is rational or irrational? In our second exercise, we have calculated the value of root 7 also. Right? Root lopala, a prime number undi ante. Kachitangadi, irrational number e So, x, x square is an irrational number. Second one, y square is equal to 16. Then y is equal to square root of 16. Value of 16 plus or minus 4. Right. Square root of 16 means it is plus or minus 4. So clearly, this is a rational number. So y is a rational number number or y square is rational number ok and our third one z square is equal to 0 0.02 so here after decimal point first two digits are there to remove this point to remove this point and to get in simple, simplest form I am multiplying with after Decimal point, there are two digits. Decimal point at the two digits, unna ka bati, 100 to multiply this denominator and numerator. Then it will be 2 by 100. So z square is equal to 2 by 100. Then z equal to square root of 2 by 100. So square root of a by b means this is root a by root b. So, root 2 by root 100. Right. What is the value of root 100? 10 tens of 100, right? So, this is root 2 by 10. Value of root 2, 1.414 and so on by 10. So, then this will become 0 point. Point will move to left side after dividing with 10. 0 0.414 and so on. So this is non-terminating and non-recurring. So Z is an irrational number. Z is an irrational number. And our fourth one U square is equal to 17 by 4. Then what is the value of u? Square root of 17 by 4. Then it will be square root of 17 by square root of 4. 17 is a prime number. It is or is it is clearly irrational number, right? So root 17 by root 4 
2. So root 17 is irrational number. So after dividing with 2 also irrational number. So root 17 is irrational. So root 17 by 2 also irrational number. So we are u. Therefore u is irrational. Are you following students? It's very easy. And here our fifth problem. W square is equal to 27. This 27 is also not a perfect square, right? 5, 5 is a 25. And 27 is also non-perfect square. W square is equal to 27. Then w equal to square root of 27. That is, we can write 27 as 9 into 3. Right? Root a into b is equal to root a into root b. So this will also root 9 into root 3. What is the value of root 9? 3. So this is 3 root 3. Value of root 3, 1.732 and so on. So after multiplying, 3 2 is a 6, 3 3 is a 9, 3 7 is a 21, 3 1 is a 3 plus that 2, 5.196 and so on. Clearly it is non-terminating and non-recurring decimal. So this is irrational number. So therefore W is irrational number. And our last one, sixth problem, t power 4 is equal to 256. First of all, this is fourth root, right? If it is square root, we can easily solve it. But here it is fourth root. Fourth root also you can solve. So 256. After writing in prime factorization method, 2 1s, 2 2s are 4 and 2 8s are 16. Again 2 64s, 2 32s, 2 16s, 2 8s, 2 4s, 2 2s. So this is 2 power 8. So, after transposing this whole power 4 to this side, 256 whole power 1 by 4, this will become, right? So, how can we write this 256 as 2 power 8? We'll write that only. So, t equal to 256 whole power 1 by 4 and we can write this 256 as 2 power 8 and here whole power 1 by 4. So we know a power m whole power n is equal to a power m into n. So basing on this formula 2 power 8 into 1 by 4. So for 1s for 2s, 2 square that is 2 square what is the value of 2 square? 4. So 4 is rational number. Right. 4 is rational. So this is a rational number. Here it is t. 4 is rational. So therefore t is a rational number. So in this way you can solve these problems in our third one. Okay. I think you are understanding students. So please like this video and please share with your friends. And please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.